Hi, my name is Matt Bufus, Director of Bands at Evanston Township High School. And I am Haley Nichol, Associate Director of Bands at Evanston Township High School. And we just wanted to spend a few minutes saying thank you to the Evanston community, uh, our fine school, Evanston Township High School, and all of our donors who made our trip to the National Concert Band Festival possible. <laughs> The National Concert Band Festival started in 1992 with the first event being hosted right here in Evanston, Illinois on the campus of Northwestern University. The festival revived the spirit of the National Band Contests of the 1920s and attracted some of the best bands in the United States. Today, the Music for All National Concert Band Festival celebrates its 28th year and continues to draw the nation's finest band programs to apply. Each year, dozens of elite high school bands submit recordings of their finest performances from that school year to be blindly reviewed by a panel of highly respected collegiate band directors. From these applications, only 14 to 16 bands are selected annually to be invited to perform on the featured stage of this prestigious festival. It is indeed quite an honor for Evanston Township to have garnered this opportunity. The invitation to perform at the 2019 Music for All National Concert Band Festival was the first of its kind for our program in our school. The concert bands at ETHS have really been on an exciting upward trajectory over the past several years, with five invite performances to the University of Illinois Super State Concert Band Festival, an opportunity to be a demonstration band at the Midwest Clinic for Dr. Scott Teeple in 2016, a performance at Chicago Symphony Center in 2017 with Carthage College, and a featured band performance at the 2018 Illinois Music Educators Conference. The opportunity to perform at this national event was really a culmination of several years of hard work shared by many students across this time period. After two memorable experiences at the 2018 Illinois Music Educators Conference and the Super State Concert Band Festival, several of my colleagues approached me and encouraged me to apply to the Music for All National Concert Band Festival. The musical maturity of our group and the progress the program had made over the last few years really got people's attention, and so I decided to inquire about putting a tape in. It was really important to me personally and to the process, logistically, that we ensure that every member of the Wind Symphony would be able to go with us to perform if we were indeed accepted. I met with our department chair, Mr. Nick Gale, our chief financial officer, Ms. Mary Rodino, and our principal, Dr. Marcus Campbell, to brainstorm fundraising ideas and seek school support for such a large endeavor. Matt had come to me really excited about this opportunity to bring our wind symphony to the national stage. And I know that's a direction that and a trajectory that we've been working toward over the last several years. And so when we had this opportunity, we wanted to take full advantage of it to really give this experience to our students. We were notified in July of our acceptance to perform at the National Concert Band Festival. In the fall, we went to the ETHS Booster Association, the Unterman Family Fund, the ETHS Alumni Association, the Kiwanis Club of Evanston, and the ETHS Class of 1968 for support, and were blown away by the positive response from these incredible Evanston entities. In addition to these special community gestures of support, we initiated our first Buy a Bar campaign. In studying our music, we determined that we would be perfecting 1,125 measures or bars of music for our performance in Indianapolis and priced each measure at $5. Thus, the Buy a Bar fundraiser began. This fundraising approach raised over $6,300 given by over 80 individual donors made up of past and present ETHS band families. In total, Evanston Township High School, in collaboration with all of these special donations from community organizations and private donors, was able to subsidize nearly 80% of the cost of this historically significant performance opportunity for our students. With the bulk of the financial obligations out of the way, our students and directors were able to fully focus and commit to preparing for for the best performance experience possible in Indianapolis. The typical concert cycle for a high school band lasts approximately six to nine weeks, about as long as a typical marking quarter, and is typically focused on three or four pieces of music lasting approximately 10 to 20 minutes of total performance time. The concert program we prepared for the National Concert Band Festival was quite a bit longer and much more challenging than our usual approach to concert programming. The students prepared five unique pieces of music from well-known composers who wrote cornerstone or cutting-edge repertoire for the wind band medium intended to be performed by the finest collegiate and professional musicians. 
The entire program added up to nearly 40 minutes in length and represented the most challenging set list the band has ever prepared. The students spent time out of school in small group sectionals, worked with collegiate clinicians, and even spent an entire day down at Illinois State University preparing for the event. Several weeks prior to our departure, recordings of the band's progress on the material were sent out to band directors at respected Illinois programs for feedback, and the group got a lot of excellent advice and encouragement, which really reinvigorated rehearsals and was incredibly motivating. In addition, many ETHS band alumni came to visit or sent videos of encouragement, which was really fun to see. The Music for All National Concert Band Festival was designed to be a fantastic, life-changing experience from start to finish, and it did not disappoint. We arrived on Thursday afternoon in time for an opening session, which welcomed several thousand students, directors, and chaperones participating in all of the simultaneous National Music Festival events run by Music for All. The opening session had remarks from student leadership guru Dr. Tim Lotzenheiser and Music for All CEO Eric Martin and had several performances from professional chamber groups. It really set the tone for the entire weekend. Later that day, our group got to view two high school band performances at the main performance hall, Clues Concert Hall, on the campus of Butler University. Our ensembles had evening rehearsals and then attended a student social with all of the national festival attendees. The following morning, our group got to warm up on stage and take pictures before our actual concert. Clues Hall was packed for our performance, which was introduced by Chicago radio personality Carl Grapentine and viewed by several hundred people and streamed live on flowmarching.com. The students performed beautifully and received a standing ovation following their rendition of Bells for Stokowski, the first performance of this important work by composer Michael Doherty at the National Concert Band Festival. Following the performance, our students received an impactful clinic by University of Georgia band director, Dr. Cynthia Johnson Turner. Later that afternoon, our percussion ensemble, under the direction of ETHS instructor Mr. David Eisenreich, performed an incredibly sophisticated set of musical selections to a packed house at the National Percussion Festival. Senior Jonathan Brown gave an outstanding solo performance at the first ever Music for All Percussion Festival Honors Recital and also received a standing ovation. The event was capped by a stunning performance by the Honor Orchestra of America performing Scheherazade and the Honor Jazz Band of America with guest artists Shelley Berg and Wycliffe Gordon. Before departing, our students enjoyed a culminating awards banquet where they received commemorative plaques for the band room, student patches, group photos, and a CD recording of their performance. My biggest takeaway was like just how I guess universal the language of music is, um, especially across the country. I think it's easy to think, you know, that our band program, of course, like we have our own unique things, but it was really unifying to see that other groups, um, it's like a similar experience. And with that, we could really bond with people, even if they were from like thousands of miles away. I think it was really valuable for us to, to get to meet a lot of band students from around the country uh, and, and to experience how a lot of other programs uh, uh, make music. Yeah. I think it was, uh, in general, just really valuable to be able to have this uh, community of, of, of musicians uh, all gathered in one place and celebrating something that we all kind of mutually love. I felt like it was, it helped define like how we felt as musicians and we all just together sort of, I guess, bonded and it really, it after coming back from it, it makes our music sound so much better because we know how to work with one another. It's being able to not only see how we perform at that kind of level and that kind of um, that kind of uh, location, um, being able to perform in a a college venue or in a really professional venue is a very great auditorium. Um, seeing really how we sound after months and months and months of work uh, is really valuable, and also seeing how we compare to other groups um, that are also high school groups that also made it to that um, festival. Uh, being able to see those groups and all the work they did was a great way to not only appreciate uh, others' work, but also see how what are they doing in their pieces that we could be doing in our pieces, or what are some ways that um, we could uh, use their, maybe their recordings, listen to some of that, use that to improve ourselves. Um, I think the best part of it was that everyone was so supportive of each other, and I just learned that there's such a big environment for music and especially music at the high school level and that 
it was I was able to see how great it really can be, especially listening to the honors band groups. I just felt like music is a really important part of my life and clearly it is for all these people too, so that was great. I think for the band as a whole, being able to experience performance and intermingling between musicians at a national level was really, really big for us. Previously, we've been to state level and out of town um, gigs and performances. I think now having been with quite literally the best high school musicians in the country and being taught and clinicked by the best musicians in the world and best educators in the world, it was a really big step forward for our program. Um, I think it was just really great for all of us to have this experience preparing such a great repertoire to play in front of our peers at such uh, a great event and getting to listen and really hear a lot of great bands perform. Uh, well, for me personally, I have made a lot of my friends through the band program and this was kind of the culmination of that. I, I just felt uh, that I bonded really well with a lot of people in the band program and that was incredibly valuable to me. I really liked meeting the people and the clinicians were just really great and they were so inspiring and talented and all the honor bands I thought were just really great and kind of pushed me to like want to be like them. So. The most memorable part for me was um, probably the Orchestra of America and Jazz Band of America performances. Um, I play orchestral trumpet but I haven't been doing it for very long but seeing uh, an orchestra of that level that are people made up of people my age around or released around my age is it was just incredible. A lot of those a lot of those students could be professional musicians if they wanted to. Um, the three trumpet players, I um, actually got to speak with uh, one of them after the day after at the trumpet clinic um, master class, and he was really cool. He talked about all the kinds of things he did in practice that really helped him get to that level. Um, and the Jazz Band of America just blew me away with um, the level of performance they were at. Everyone was having fun. Everyone was just playing their heart out. They, they knew that they were on like a big stage and everyone was watching, so they just went for it. I thought that was fantastic. I learned that it's a lot about being focused and it takes a lot of effort, which I think we really brought to the table for this um, this trip. And my biggest thing was that we all needed to be in it 100% and it's all about commitment because once we were all focused, we were able to make a really memorable performance. My biggest takeaway from the experience as a whole was probably that we could, you know, sit where we are right now, or we could, you know, push ourselves to get to, if, if there even is a next level, we, are, we could make one if we have to. We can constantly change things, uh, make things, improve things. Uh, there's constantly things that could be tweaked a little bit in order to make them how, exactly the way that we want. Um, and I think that this, that festival was such a great way to see, hey, that's something that we could do or um, with the clinics after the performance, um, it gave us an entirely new uh, perspective, especially on, on bells. Um, we've been playing it one way and our clinician gave us such a different view of the piece um, that we're doing it ag again and we're taking that and radically shifting the entire way that the piece is done, which I think is fantastic. And so in closing, we just wanted to say one more time, thank you so much. We simply couldn't have provided such an excellent experience for our students if it wasn't for your support. We'd like to thank Dr. Marcus Campbell, our school principal, Mr. Nick Gale, our fine arts department chair, Ms. Mary Rodino, our school CFO. As well as all of the Evanston groups that supported us as well, including the ETHS Boozers Association, the ETHS Alumni Association, Class of 1968, the Unterman Family Fund, the Kiwanis Club of Evanston, as well as all of our band families and alumni who donated, donated to our Buy a Bar campaign. Thank you. Thank you to all the donors out there who helped make this experience possible for our students. Without you, we really couldn't have done it. So a big thanks from the Fine Arts Department here at ETHS. Thank you for uh, your generous support for our students and for our staff to have such an amazing opportunity. Thank you very much. It is um, something that we don't take lightly and we appreciate it dearly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.